Merry Christmas Eve. It is Monday, December 24th, and I am once again starting my vlog in the car. I left my phone inside, I mean my camera inside, but I'm using my phone right now. I keep um, forgetting the phone, the camera. It's hard to get used to vlogging with the camera when you've been using a phone. So, but it's all good. Oh, my daughter just got home. All right, so I am running to the dollar store real quick. I gotta get a couple things. And then I'm gonna come back home and we are all getting ready to go to lunch and then we are going to the Christmas Eve service and we have lots of traditions to share with you today. So Christmas Eve is one of my favorite days of the year and my kids as well. So is it good? Jack can get some Subway. What? He prefers Subway. <coughs> had our um, Christmas Eve service and it was beautiful and phenomenal. fun and phenomenal Jackson says so um, we came home and I wrapped some presents for a little while and the kids cleaned the house and now the next thing we, we we always do on Christmas Eve is years ago the kids made these ornaments this is Jackson's clearly he was a lot younger and um, so they like all their presents wrapped in the same paper, but they don't want to know what that paper is. So it makes it easier because when I wrap stuff, I don't have to put tags on it. I just wrap it in their paper. So I put a little piece of their paper in each of their ornaments, and I hide them in the tree. I hide them in the tree, and then I have bring out three presents on Christmas Eve, one for each of them. They have to guess which one is theirs, and then I tell them. But they, well no, I don't tell them. Then they find their ornament, and then it, inside each ornament is a little piece of the wrapping paper, and then they know that matches theirs. And then they get to open their Christmas pajamas, and then on Christmas morning, when they come out, they already know which presents are theirs, because they know what their paper looks like. So right now, I am going to put these, hide these in the tree. This is one, okay, there's one wrapper. <laughs> My guess is These are the mine? three. Rappers. Madison's Alanis. So we always take guesses. Jackson thinks my Madison Alanis. Okay. Madison okay. Madison's guess is what? <laughs> Jackson Elena me. Jackson Elena Madison. Okay, Mad Elena, what is your guess? Why not? 
<laughs> yeah, Elena had to help me wrap yes yesterday. Yeah, so yeah. she she knows, but she's 21, so I figured. I tell them my original guess. Okay, what was your? No, I did make Elena guess before she yeah. I, she found out the truth. So you can tell them what you thought before I told you what was what. Thought that it was Madison, me, Jackson. Okay, so y'all are gonna go in the other room, and I'm gonna hide your ornaments. Okay. See what your paper is. Well, all of us? Yeah. Yeah, I have to get tweezers. <laughs> Open it. Not Did you find it? Did you already see? It on. Okay, that's oh, okay. Oh, boy. I, ripped, I, ripped. I saw what mine was. You can't look at it yet. On accident. Yeah. Okay, you can look at it. Huh? I am the Christmas tree. Everyone, I am the dog. <laughs> with Santa. Everyone was wrong, Madison. I knew you'd guess that. So. How about we start with oldest this time? Oh, oh, this is the youngest. <laughs> what? She's in the middle. Yeah, he said we should start with you this year. Oh, okay, good idea. All right, Elena, you go first. Oh my goodness, Bell Bell. Start with the middle child. It's a box! Yay! Rip the boxes. Ooh, this looks cute. Is it a beanie? Yes. Dogs, back up. Is it? Is that middle youngest oldest? I mean, oldest cute. Middle youngest? I'm guessing you understand. Jackson, you're being patient. Ollie's gonna help you. Okay, cute. <laughs> She's like, okay, it's acceptable. <laughs> it's hard to buy clothes for teenagers. Um, real soft. They're very soft, and I know you like soft. I approve. This is why they call me the chaos. Okay. Do you know where those came from? Yeah. Do you remember them? Yeah. I had already bought them for you like a month before you saw them. Seriously? Yep. Look at my Christmas miracle. <laughs> he shaved his grandpa beard. His Santa Claus beard. See, you look about 10 years younger like that. And 10 pounds lighter. And 10 pounds lighter, yep. Okay, so so Madison, got a, Madison got a special pair of pajamas. <laughs> It has backwards pockets, but it's not backwards. There's the tie. The tag is in the back. That's too funny. Okay, so this year is a little bit different. We just have one extra gift to give them tonight. So go ahead. It's for all of y'all from Dad and I. Go for it. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. It's, um... Oh look, 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 gosh. look, more suspects, more rooms, and more weapons. Wait, it's a brand new clue. It's three times the size. They're speechless. <laughs> so in case you didn't know, their obsession, not mine, but all four of them, and Andrew, and it's like spreading everyone that comes over. They make them play Clue, them. and Clue is their favorite game in the universe. So they got a brand new, a brand new Clue, and... It's Clue Master Detective, so that'll be fun. Maybe we'll play that tonight. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this down. One of our other traditions, what we do every Christmas Eve is we do a gingerbread house. And the last couple years we've done this one because there's five of us and there's five gingerbread houses. So I'm gonna make dinner and they are gonna play Clue. So I'm just gonna make easy. Um, if you watched my last vlog, you saw what I bought. My little haul. I'm gonna make uh, little sausages and tater tots and chicken Whoa. chicken fries and a couple other things. So I'm gonna start working on that. It is 6:09, and yeah, let the Christmas Eve festivities begin. Whoa. Jackson, I want to see that. Um, I want to see the board, the game board. Oh yeah, look at that. This is huge. So fun. Does anybody else have like 
at Christmas time like a corner of like sugar because we have all the baking we did and then gifts from different people all these it's like we just like shove it all into the corner that's like the corner of desserts corner of sugar and it'll be there for a while and then eventually we'll just throw out what we don't eat but I just didn't know if I was alone with that oh there we go chicken fries golden what do you call them crispy rounds there's some sausages with oyster rolls and oyster crackers delicious oyster delicious oyster crackers Okay, it's time for gingerbread house making our Christmas Eve tradition. Yes. So Elena chose, we uh, have five little houses, so everybody gets to choose which one they want. And then Dad and I get the leftovers. <laughs> so this is the one I have. Okay, so we have to saw them apart. Here's the finished gingerbread houses and I'm gonna ask you to leave a comment down below and tell me which one you think is the best so this is number one number two number three number four and number five <laughs> because I got a bunch of competitive people in this family and everybody worked very hard they're beautiful I think everybody deserves especially me some recognition especially <laughs> and Angela yeah and Angela's about to start her own yeah. YouTube channel. Like, so. subscribe, follow. It's going to be a summer competition. Woo! She'll probably like blow me out of the water with subscribers because Angela's Angela's back basically my total opposite. She's like super outgoing. Yeah. Hello. And I have my own channel. How many people can we That's fit right. in my kitchen? Yeah. All right. So it's nine o'clock. Time for Family Ties Christmas episodes. How many do we have? Three. Hey, there's three. So for like the last, I don't know, how many years have we been doing this? Like, like a long time. We watch um, Family Ties Christmas episodes. We ended up, we used to watch them on Netflix and then they took them off and then we bought them. So I think there's three and we watched them. We're only allowed to watch them on Christmas Eve. So, you know, makes them special. So that's what we are about to do right now. I think it's most everybody's favorite part of Christmas Eve. All right, well, it's officially time for milk and cookies for Santa. These are some, I've had this plate and this cup. Wow, that's a lot of milk. Um, we're not going to give them a whole gingerbread house. Put that oh, back. It's mine. Nope. I always get mine. Well, we always break it up and give them some. But look, we got this whole plate of cookies right here. 
Can we give him some of these? You can pick it. You want to give him part of this? Don't don't break that okay. one. Just give him part of that stocking. He doesn't need a ton. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, I've had these for about 15 years, and yeah, yeah. Come here. Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. So we're about to go to bed, and Santa Claus is gonna come. Is it just me, or does does this look like um a like a skull necklace around his neck? Is it just me? Okay, so it's now almost 11 p.m. We set out our cookies and milk for Santa, and the kids are finally going to bed. Tomorrow, of course, is going to be a busy but fun. I forget how Pastor Jonathan said it tonight. He said something like, it's going to be beautiful chaos tomorrow or something. And I thought, that's such a great way to say it because it is beautiful chaos. So anyways, thanks for hanging out with us today. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you tomorrow on Christmas morning.